Back in 1979, Teradata was formed. They were going to build parallel processing systems based on Intel's 8086 chip. IBM laughed at the time and they said, that's like plowing a field with a thousand chickens. You need a mainframe or a tractor to make it happen. But Teradata had a dream. And in 1988, their first system came out, the DBC database computer, 1012. 10 to the 12th power is a terabyte. And that was the goal. They would be the first company to build a database that was a terabyte in size. And people said, that's not possible. You know, if you live for a million seconds or a megabyte, you're living for 11.5 days. If you live for a terabyte or a trillion seconds, 31,688 years, that's how much data a terabyte was. So Teradata built the DBC 1012 and ever since they've had a user in there called DBC. DBC is the most powerful user in every Teradata system. It's really the only user that comes when the system first arrives and DBC then builds the environment and DBC in the beginning owns all of the space. DBC so powerful that occasionally they assign a user to be DBC and the user forgets the password. Ooh, this is really bad. I mean, you got to call Teradata in. They got to do some crazy stuff to get that fixed. So a lot of companies will actually take DBC, give the majority of space taken from DBC mm -hmm to another user, TerraTom or SysDBA, anything you want, and then they lock up that password. DBC is all powerful. DBC can do everything, so it's important to take good care of DBC. DBC will always hold some space because if you did the command help database DBC, you'd see all the system tables out there. You see Teradata tracks everything it does. What users are created, what tables are created, what the indexes are, everything is in that system catalog. Plus DBC is responsible for transient journals, logs, things of this nature. But you can give the majority of space to that next user who now is second in command. In this case, it's your man Teratom and we've given him a lot of perm space. So now Teratom will then be responsible for creating other users and other databases. You see, Teradata is hierarchical. DBC creates someone who creates others, and that's the way it works. The greatest gift of all that you can give yourself and your company is the gift of the Nexus Query Chameleon, the query tool of the future. Click on the choice below to learn more about Nexus's amazing features.